On my most recent trip that I just came back from this morning, Chad and I decided that we would like to try what's all the rage these days in packing, which are these zippered space saving bags. So we ran out and picked up a five pack of Ziploc space bags. These are the travel cubes. They come in a five pack. They were 25 bucks Canadian. They might be a little cheaper in the US. Regardless, we thought we'd give them a go. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how they work. We're gonna show you how they work. And then I'm gonna tell you about my experience with them and what I thought they were useful for. Essentially, you take your bag, open it up, make as much space as possible. And what they recommend is that you layer in your clothing in two rows. This bag has a fill line with a lot of stop signs. So you clearly notice stop packing at that point. And the reason you have to do that is so that you have enough leverage to roll and compress some of the air out. And that is done by simply flipping up this valve and rolling and pressing, or by taking a vacuum without any attachments putting it right here against the valve, turning the vacuum on, and all the air comes out. So to demonstrate how easy it is to use, we'll take some of my clothes and then we'll take some of Chad's clothes. What's really important here is that you take the zippered portion and pinch really hard to make sure that you're actually getting a nice tight locking seal because if that's not happening the air will definitely be able to escape and you won't be able to suction all of it out. Here's the stop line so what you can do is start rolling and compressing the air out as I am. This is the manual version. And what it does is create these flat little packages that you can then stack up in your suitcase, which now don't have the extra air. But the best way to do this is to vacuum all of the air out of it. And then you can just stack these up in your suitcase. It's a lot easier that way. I was concerned about wrinkles with this and I didn't get as many wrinkles as I thought I would get, but yes, there still were wrinkles with the clothing when I finally unpacked. You'll notice here that I packed in two layers. The other thing you can do is pack up. So we can do that with Chad's clothes. I'm not going past the stop line, zipping it up. And in this case, you'll bunch and you'll start to press down. Now obviously you'll do this if you don't have access to a vacuum cleaner, AKA on your way back. But on your way there, definitely take advantage of the vacuum. But I'll just show you how it's done like this. And now we'll supercharge it with our vacuum. So all of that clothing compressed into this little package. Now Chad and I used four of these for our recent trip to Florida. We had so much room left in our suitcase, it was practically laughable and that made it great for our way home as well, although we only really use these to pack dirty clothes. It does keep odors out of your clothing. If you ever notice, like when you travel, your clothing gets strange odors, either dirty laundry or being in the air, I don't know what it is, but this prevents that from actually happening. And the final thing that I'll say about these bags are they're made of really good quality thick plastic but that doesn't mean that you should be rough with them or rip them or use anything sharp around them. They were, like I said, $25 for five. So I'll definitely be gentle around them, even though I do plan on using them several times. I'll put links to this product in the description box below. We were going to pick up the Eagle Creek version of these, but we couldn't get to an Eagle Creek distributor on time, which is why we opted for this product. We were very happy with it, it worked quite well, and we will be using these in the future for future travels. 
Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.